welcome guys, welcome guys. So let's talk about this famous problem, uh, problem 69 or 1988. So ABP is positive integers such that A B plus 1 is divided by A squared plus B squared, so A squared plus B squared divided by A plus 1 is A squared of an integer. Yeah, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So this problem is called infinite descent, uh, using the so-called infinite descent. And this problem is so famous that if you go to wiki or you Google, then you will find a, a video channel or even a wiki page just talking about how to prove this. And this is called, this technique is called, uh, uh, I, should, I should say, uh, Vitesse jumping. Okay, so a very famous question, because this problem is very hard. Uh, think, uh, people think this should be the most difficult problem in the, in the IMOS uh, 1988. Because the proof technique is rarely used. Okay, so uh, you can, uh, so the idea is called the uh, infinite descent. Yeah, so this is the the number theory technique that uh, seldom people use. It. Uh, I mean, seldom people know. I mean, if you don't don't start this this type of question. Okay, and I have uh, built an infinite descent video that uh, video list there contains lots of one, so you can check it. I will post the link below. Okay, so let's uh, quickly see a proof. So, okay, so the idea is that we prove by contradiction. So. Step one is that uh, I assume, right? So I want to prove by addition, right? So I assume there is this AB which are positive, uh, such that AB plus one divides A squared plus B squared. And I define K to be A squared plus B squared, AB plus one, such that uh, K is not squared. Okay? So definition, right? Just, uh, so this is just the, the definition. Proof by it. Okay, so let's define a second second step. Let's define omega such that a plus b. Uh, omega is a subset. Uh, omega is a set, right? Every, everything's a plus b such, and a b is the positive integers. Uh, all positive integers such that uh, a squared plus b squared, a b plus one equals two k. Okay, and uh, since I already assumed that there is this a b greater than zero, right? So omega is non-empty, and omega is a subset of the integer positive integer. Okay, so from here, like we know that omega has a minimum. Any non any non empty subset of positive integer has a minimum. Okay, so this is a proof technique. Okay, so I collect, I try to collect all the a squared plus b squared, a b plus one, the divide a b plus one, such k equals k, and I collect everything to be a b, a plus, and I collect such pair, and I compute a plus b, and I collect as a set. Okay, so omega is a minimum, and I choose. I miss. Uh, I miss. I misuse the notation. I choose a b to be such minimum to be such minimum. Okay, and the uh, third step is that uh, I hope to find a prime, uh, b prime, such that uh, a prime square plus b prime square, a prime b prime plus one. I try. I hope to find a prime b prime such that a prime lead lead this equation. Right, this equals k, and uh, their sum are less than a plus b. I mean, if I can find such one, right, then then this contradiction with the minimal minimal minimality of original uh, definition, so leads to a contradiction. Okay, so this is the the merits of the proof. Okay, and uh, the rest are just the uh, uh, detail. Okay, so let's go to the detail detail. Uh, maybe maybe I should I should yeah okay so I think everybody knows the notation right so let's that, talk about this so details that let's assume that uh, a greater or equal to b and uh, I define and then let's solve this equation right, let's solve this equation so we have x squared plus b squared equals to x minus x b k minus k right to be zero so from the so this is viewed as the quadratic equation of x. Right, so quadratic equation of x. So let's change it to the standard form is x squared minus x b k plus b squared minus k. Right, so the Vitell's formula tells us that the two roots sum. So two roots sum will be b k and the two roots product. I should say two roots <laughs> product will be b squared minus k. Okay, now I already if I already know one root is a. Right, one root is a. So what is the second root? So let's call the second root to be x2. x2 has a two uh, representation. One is bk minus a. One is uh, b squared divided by k. Uh, b squared minus k divided by a. 
right? So we have the two so uh, we have the one solution, but they have the two, they have the the two uh, expression. Okay, so so finally, the f I claim x two less than uh less than what less than a. And s2 is a 0. s2 greater than 0, and x2 become a, is a integer. So I can learn these three things. Uh, these, these things are correct. Uh, if this is true, then what? Then? Then? Then x2, uh, then one can check that x2 plus a less than uh, a plus b. So basically, uh, so, uh, sorry, x this is b so it's the same yeah so it's the same x x2 less than a right because x2 then the then we prove that the uh, such uh, we prove that the uh, contradiction right since that x2 satisfy original question so the remaining is to prove that uh, this x2 is actually a positive integer and that, so x2 is great uh, also x2 is greater than zero and less than a if x2 is less than a then x2 plus b is less than a plus b Right, so this then this, this violates the minimality of original omega. Okay. So the final detail is to check that uh, this expression satisfies everything. Okay, so the first one is I want to do it step by step. Let's see, this is one, this is two, this is three. Well the first one I want to claim that x2 greater than zero, right? And the reason is that uh uh I, I mean I, I, do anyone know the reason? Okay. Okay, so b k minus a. I mean, okay, so let's see. So it's not obviously y x two is greater than zero, but but you remember that x two plus x two square plus uh b square x two b plus one is k, right? And the k is greater than zero. So this is greater than zero. So that means x two plus b plus one is greater than zero. But b is an integer. Okay, and then from here that I know b times k minus a is integer. So I know x two is an integer. It's a x2 is an integer, and the inti and x2 times b plus one is greater than zero. So x2 must be greater, must greater than zero, right? Otherwise, that uh, b is an integer. Otherwise, that x2 plus b will less than zero. So x2 greater than zero, and I already know x2 is b k minus one uh, minus a, right? So x2 is not only greater than zero. X2 is a integer greater than zero. So x2 is a positive integer. Okay, so from here we know that uh, this is stupid, right? Stupid, stupid. So the remaining is to show x2 less than a. Right, final step. Okay, final step. Okay, so let's see. So how do we prove that x2 less than a? Uh, notice that x2 has a b squared minus k expression, right? So if Let's see. So if let's assume that x. So let's see. Mm, so x two less than a is is just to prove least least less than a. So it's if and only if uh, b squared minus k less than a squared, right? So if and only if uh, b squared minus a squared plus b squared, a b plus one less than a squared. Okay. So if and only if uh, uh let's. So, so if only a b square a b plus one minus a square minus b square less than a square a b plus one. Okay, I think up to now uh, everybody is still still online. <laughs> okay, if and if only if if only if that's c. So uh, let's do expansion. So a b cube plus b square minus a square minus b square less than a cube b plus a square. Right, so we can uh, delete this b square. Okay, so in order to prove this is correct, uh, what you need to show is that uh, this is correct, or basically you show you need to show that uh, a b cube minus a cube b minus two a square less than zero, and uh, this is the same as you change this greater than zero, but flip every sign. Okay. So if you want to prove this, then you only need to prove this. Okay. Uh, but uh, remember that, that we have a beautiful assumption. So our assumption is uh, a greater or equal to b. So 
this term should be written as a uh, minus a b b square minus a square right and uh so this term this is a b a square minus b square so this term is greater or equal to zero because uh i already assume a greater or equal to b so this term is greater or equal to zero and the two a square is greater or equal to zero so everything is greater or equal to zero so done uh, okay yeah hope you guys enjoy this video yeah this is so this so once you have x2 then everything is it's uh, beautiful, right? You, you construct another solution, which is you construct another solution x2 plus b is less than a plus b, and x2 satisfy everything. And uh, but violate the minimality of the omega. Okay. Yeah, hope you guys like this video. I think this problem is very interesting, and uh, yeah, you guys should like it. And uh, I will provide another one, which is you can use the same technique to use. So, why it's called Vitesse, uh, Vitesse jumping? Because uh, the idea is that you just use two roots sum and the two roots square. A uh, two root sum and two root product. So actually, this problem can be used as an element, uh, like a junior high school problem. But I mean, it's so difficult. But technically, it's just basically junior high school. Okay, so very, very uh, intriguing problem. See you guys next videos.